So Bitcoin has gone completely unhinged the past month with the most bullish news hitting the market that I've personally ever heard as we get closer to breaking the all time high. Now, as retail investors are getting a little buzzed right now off of the gains that they made this past year, when true retail, which is newbies in the space rather than the OG investors like you or as we like to call ourselves absolute degenerates that have been here you know for several years as new people start coming back into the markets they're going to be getting absolutely drunk as a skunk wasted off of the gains they're going to be making over the next few years but in a bull run it's important to remember that it's very easy to buy but as we get closer to the top it becomes very difficult to sell and that's how you get wrecked so on this channel we like to talk about when to spot the best entry points, the best exit time in the market based on mass psychology, and based on what's happening on the charts. So I'm gonna be diving on the computer. I'm gonna be showing you guys the charts. I'm gonna be showing you some top narratives, some top projects that I personally believe are gonna do very, very well this bull run and make more millionaires than ever before. Now it's important to remember that investing in the crypto market involves massive amounts of risk and past performance is no indicator that you're gonna have any future results or any profits in these markets. And just as quickly as these projects go up, they can come down and drop as much as 90% or more in a bear market. So understand that if you plan to invest in these markets, you have to be okay with losing absolutely everything and not investing more than you can afford to lose. You know, I'm not your financial advisor. These videos are purely for educational entertainment purposes only. So it's always important to do your own research, consult with your financial advisors, your CPA, your tax accountant. If they're a millionaire, if they're not a millionaire, fire them, hire somebody that's a millionaire that's qualified to make investment decisions. And historically, you know, when we look at the year following the Bitcoin halving, that's where we see the most astronomical gains in the crypto market. So the fact that Bitcoin's having hasn't happened yet. When I'm shooting this video, you might be watching it Watching it after this. You guys are statistically early. And we just had Kathy Wood from ARK Invest give her prediction for Bitcoin to kickstart this bull run. Our base case is in the $600,000 range. Our bull case, uh, and we think the probability of the bull case has increased with this SEC approval. This is a green light. Our bull case is $1.5 million by 2030. You can see the building blocks. You can see how conservative we are in terms of those building blocks. Uh, this is a big idea. It is a it is the first global decentralized digital rules based critical there rules based monetary system in history. It is a very big idea. If we look at the Bitcoin price chart in the month of February, Bitcoin printed the largest green candle in history. And this is largely due to institutional adoption with BlackRock's iBit Bitcoin ETF becoming the fastest to ever hit 10 billion in total assets doing record breaking numbers. Now, if we look at Google Trends and we type in Bitcoin and sort back to the last 10 years of Google search volume, you can clearly see that there's hardly any retail investors as interested in Bitcoin as they were back in 2017. And we are 85% away from the all time high of search volume, but yet Bitcoin's price was just 7% away from the all time high in February. So what this means is that the rally right now in crypto is being driven by institutions like BlackRock rather than by retail investors with Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock saying, For the first three years of thinking about it, I was a naysayer and about two years ago I switched in the last two years. I'm a big believer. It is an alternative source for wealth holding. I believe it goes up if the world is more frightened, if people have fearful of geopolitical risk, they're fearful of their own risk. It's no different than what gold represented over thousands of years. It is a asset class that protects you. Right. Now, five years ago, Larry Fink was saying this about crypto. Don't your clients want crypto exposure? No, I don't believe any client has sought out crypto exposure. Really? Yes. But at some point they might. Do you need to be prepared? I, I don't, at the moment, no. It's I, interesting. Yeah, I mean, Goldman Sachs is building out a cryptocurrency trading desk. Morgan Good. Stanley is well, doing I'm the not same in the thing. Trading JP Morgan's doing the yes, same thing. Yes, because they there are there's elements of people who are looking to trade it. I have not heard from any one client they're looking to buy a cryptocurrency at this time. So if we look at the total altcoin market cap, the last few bull runs were driven by retail investors, and now 
This bull run is being driven by institutional companies that have trillions of dollars in assets under management. So when retail starts researching crypto again on Google, when they see Bitcoin doing record breaking numbers, they're going to realize that there's more money to be made in altcoins. If we look at the Bitcoin price chart versus the total altcoin market cap, last bull run Bitcoin only did a 16x, whereas the entire altcoin market did over a 40x. So it's very clear that it makes more sense to be holding altcoins rather than Bitcoin during a bull run. Now, considering that the global liquidity is rotating into the entire crypto industry with companies like BlackRock giving Bitcoin the green light, the altcoin market is set up to have one of the biggest bull runs in history and a ton of newer low market cap projects are going to create life-changing gains for you to capitalize on so you can scale your portfolio to accumulate more large cap projects like XRP. So the real key here during the bull run with projects like XRP is during the later stage of the bull run, liquidity likes to flow back into these projects. So liquidity comes into Bitcoin first, then it tends to flow into like Ethereum, Solana in the large caps, then it moves to mid caps, low caps and micro caps projects. And then it moves back into these projects, you know, to absorb all of that liquidity that came into the whole industry at the end. So XRP is one of those projects that I believe will do well towards the later stage of this bull run. And as you guys can see, I mean, over the past month, it's doing pretty decent, but there are other projects that we keep on our radar that do have that, you know, 10, 25, 50X potential. So another category of crypto that's gonna do very, very well is decentralized exchange tokens. And as you can see right here, the market cap is just shy of $25 billion. And so if this industry is going to grow by another few trillion dollars and this only has 25 billion these tokens are going to absorb a majority of the capital so what we look at is we look at you know the top project is obviously uniswap and then you see other projects on the list you know have market caps of 1.9 synthetics is 1.4 dydx is 1 billion uh, and so these projects that have 1 billion 100 million or higher are going to do very well they're going to absorb a lot of capital but where the big gains are going to happen is in the ones that are sub 100 million dollars and so a micro cap gem to keep on your radar is dex toro or d toro it's sitting at 77 cents and the market cap of this is a micro cap so obviously there's more risk in the lower market cap projects but that's how you see massive gains now there are no guarantees that the micro cap projects are going to do well because obviously they need mass adoption they need users but the reason why this project is on the list to add to your radar the market cap is sitting at two million dollars the max supply is 80 million tokens it's on optimism which has been doing very well over the past few months and so when we click on markets you can see right now it's on coin w and uniswap and so when dtoro gets listed on other exchanges that allows for more liquidity to flow into a project like this in the platform dex toro it's a decentralized derivatives trading platform offering perpetual futures trading with leverage powered by ethereum and optimism and they have a superior trading model known as peer to contract or p2c where they offer exposure to a variety of on-chain and real world assets while having access to advanced trading functionality through their proprietary dex toro smart wallet and the key products of their platform are the perpetual futures which are also known as perpetual swaps which are basically they're like a type of derivative contract that allows traders to speculate on the price of an underlying asset without an expiration date. So this means that the contract can be held indefinitely with the trader choosing to either hold the position or close it out at any time. And their Dextoro wallet is offering a secure decentralized platform for trading perpetual futures contracts along with various markets to improve the trading experience. So that way they can foster trust as a company, you know, they could drive adoption of decentralized trading platforms and they can start trending under the DeFi category. And what sets Dextoro apart from, you know, its peers like GMX or, you know, other perpetual leverage trading platforms is its adoption of the peer to contract trading engine, which is basically an innovative trading model that solves the common slippage problem in trading because if you guys have been around since the last bull run you know dealing with slippage if you're trading on like uniswap or if you're trading on pancake swap or you're trading on one inch or other platforms you know is a huge issue if you don't understand how to set your settings so the biggest benefit of trading derivatives on dex toro is that you can trade with infinite liquidity and zero slippage in the p2c model means that traders don't have to fight the limitations of an order book you know like worrying about the orders filling or suffering from slippage you know something that big traders you know struggle with and they face when trading on centralized exchanges or automated market makers and so while trading on dextoro you know you can completely bypass the conventional rules of the traditional order book model and automated market maker model 
So I'll leave a link to the exchange in the description below for you guys to try it out. You know, it's very, very simple. You simply connect your wallet, you start trading, and you can start leveraging all their features. And they're continuously launching new perpetual contract markets. I and mean, as you guys know, centralized exchanges, you know, they have higher fees. Like if you're just on Coinbase, you're getting charged up the ASS on the fees in these scam wicks that take place where I talked about in previous videos where the centralized exchanges have an incentive to liquidate those that have limit leverage buy or sell orders. You know, if the market's gonna go up or down, so they push it past on these scam wicks to liquidate you out of your position. So DexToro doesn't do that. They have low fees, no withdrawal limits, and they're powered by the DToro token, where traders earn DToro rewards based on their trading volume. They have a stake and earn model to earn inflationary rewards. And DToro holders can vote on token listings on their platform and different changes as the platform grows. So right now, the total trading volume is 25 million, 250 plus traders, 3,500 plus trades, and you know growing every single day. And they're collaborating with industry leaders to deliver the best trading experience in DeFi. So I believe when total two, which is the total crypto market cap, excluding Bitcoin starts to explode, lots of money is going to flow into the decentralized exchange tokens. And that's what we're seeing right now. You know, over the past seven days, Uniswap's absolutely exploded and all these other projects are starting to grow. So with the DToro token sitting below a $2 million market cap at 77 cents right now, they just recently got listed on CoinGecko on December of 2023. The chart has been trending upwards. It's definitely a project you want to keep on your radar. Now, another category of crypto that is going to absolutely crush it and be one of the top categories that will trade on decentralized exchange platforms platforms will be gaming tokens. And as you guys can see here, you know, Immutable X is number one, then you have Beam, EGLD. So IMX is going to be one of the biggest performers. Beam, I talked about in a previous video, going to be one of the biggest performers. These are the large cap holds. So depending on your portfolio allocation and your tolerance to risk, you know, a smart move, no financial advice, obviously consult your financial advisor on what you should do. But what smart investors do is they have 80% of their portfolio in large cap, high conviction plays across like maybe two, three sectors. So you don't need to be in like all these different sectors. I'm just bringing you these sectors for you guys to choose. For example, there's gaming, there's AI, you know, there's meme coins, there's decentralized exchanges, and then there's tons of others, you know, real world assets, you know, that you could choose from. So gaming is going to be one of the biggest ones. So that's why I have gaming as a part of one of the narratives and one of the niches that I'm the most bullish on that I'm diversifying into. So if you're gonna have 80% of your portfolio in large caps, let's say you just choose gaming, you know, you could have 80% in the large caps right here, and they're going to do well, but they're, they're not going to do like a 50 X or 100 X, they're more than likely going to do, you know, three, four, five X, maybe a 10 X, maybe a 15 X, if the total market cap of this whole industry goes absolutely insane and passes $10 trillion. But you know, to play things on the more conservative side, these are the projects that'll do like a five to maybe a 15 X max. So we need to look at the leader in the space, which is Immutable IMX and see who they're partnered with and find newer projects that have either launched and have bottomed out on the chart or who are about to launch at very low market caps. And for example, one project that we spotted is called Landrocker. They're an official partner of Immutable. And so what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description below this video. If you guys click that, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. I'll also leave a link to the Matic bridge tutorial because they are gonna be launching on Matic. And so it's very important for you to understand how to bridge between Ethereum, Matic, and also other chains. Matic is one of the most popular. Now, the reason why Landrocker is a no brainer with their token LRT is obviously they're an official partner of Immutable, the number one project in the gaming space. So in terms of 100x potential, we need to look at low market cap projects that have either bottomed out on the chart or have yet to launch. And so what they're launching at is a 1.5 initial market cap, guys. When you look at other GameFi competitors post launch, a lot of them range anywhere from like 30 million to $150 million. And so Landrocker is working on getting featured across multiple media platforms like Crypto News, News BTC, Techpedia, Crypto.News, Crypto Daily, Ethereum News, Bazinga, You Today, among many others. And so I encourage you guys to go watch the video in the link in the description below on their website that explains what Landrocker is and how it works. But basically you launch a rover to faraway planets and just like during the gold rush, you find valuable rewards like, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and at different NFTs and other prizes that they're going to offer in game. What makes the game so special is that it's completely cheat proof. So Landrocker uses smart contracts to hide the rewards directly on the blockchain, which makes it a lot more fun. That means that rewards are completely untraceable. So if you ever remember like geocaching that you ever did as a, as a kid to be able to like go across like your your hometown and find different things that were buried you know you could basically do the same thing with this so it's going to make it really cool and in terms of this being like an individual game we talk about how launch pads do very well but individual games do have those you know 100x potentials as well too if they get the right mass adoption so this team they've done an incredible job on 
this. I think this project will do well because we're going into the bull run by 2025, starting out at a $1.5 million market cap. You know, you can check out their tokenomics. They have a 10 billion total supply. The listing price is going to be 0 0.001. So if you guys want to allocate, you know, any crypto to this launch, they've just completed the seed round about 1.7 million. They're on round seven right now. And all you have to do is connect your wallet, choose USDT, USDC, Matic or DAI after you've bridged over from Ethereum following the tutorial in the description below. On the left-hand side of their website, you can check out the marketplace and they show you how you're gonna be able to buy in-game assets as NFTs, like different material that can be used in the game. Also fuel that will be used for your rover, purchasable with the LRT token and different planets that show you the prizes in LRT token that you could be able to earn. So when you click on the economy tab, it shows you how the marketplace is gonna work with the play to earn user, uh, play to W and then the investor and how it works. So very, very dynamic because how you keep users coming back to your game is you have to have them level up either a character or um, equipment or machinery in the game and then you provide rewards while they level up and then you provide other equipment other characters that they can level up as well too so it becomes more addicting so that is exactly what they're doing and they also have their swap coming they have the staking coming soon and then underneath inventory you can check that out simply by connecting your wallet creating your account below and then signing in to view everything in your back office so if you guys are looking for 100x gems that have yet to launch i think this project could do very well and so another ecosystem that we need to look at is the solana ecosystem because a lot of these projects guys are going to merge in different categories. For example, you know, some project that launches in the Solana ecosystem might be a gaming project. So it's the good hybrid of the best of both worlds. And they might also have, you know, a DEX token as well too. So it really depends um, based on what categories they, they specify under, because some of these you can see like Chainlink is like real world assets, but they're underneath the Solana ecosystem as well too, because they're cross bridge. So when you look at these projects, you see Solana is obviously the largest 57 billion, Chainlink has 12 billion, the graph 2.9. But as we scroll further down the list, we can see a lot smaller market cap projects. So this industry, you know, this category of crypto is going to absolutely explode as one of the main ones is 189 billion. But one of the main categories that I'm going to be looking for in the Solana ecosystem is AI and meme coins, because meme coins, guys, is a telltale sign of who's going to be coming back to the space. And so in terms of AI, you know, you can see BitTensor, Near Protocol, the graph render, all of these large caps are going to do very, very well. So in terms of like 80% of a portfolio allocation, what no financial advice, but just speaking out loud, what I personally choose to do is AI, gaming, Solana ecosystem, decentralized exchange tokens, and meme coins. So those would be like the top five that I'm paying attention to this bull run. Now, real world assets are gonna be big as Larry Fink has talked about in different interviews, but I think those are gonna be the biggest by 2030. And so this bull run is gonna be driven by gaming and AI mostly. And when retail starts coming back, meme coins are going to go absolutely insane. So just recently, you guys could see Pepe's up 246%, Shiba Inu's up 100%, Dogecoin's up 67%. If you watch my video, I made the other day titled the top 10 cryptos to buy now under 10 cents that large investors are buying. It doesn't mean you should. Those titles just mean that that's what large investors are paying attention to because I show you guys where the narratives are about to grow, like which narratives are about to take off. So you could be able to you know, educate yourself and add these projects to your watch list. And what you choose to do is up to you. But Dogecoin was a telltale sign that we are going into the parabolic stage of retail coming back when the search volume increases. Because look back here, you know, right back in May of 2021, Dogecoin was 100 out of 100 on search volume. And right now with Dogecoin rallying, it's only one out of 100 guys. So Dogecoin rallying right now, this is institutional money flowing into Dogecoin. And then a lot of smart retail, like the early OG investors or the degenerates in crypto that are just either they're, they're too smart or they're too stupid to leave. And it's the later of the two, like they're just too stupid to sell. And so they're going to be wealthy no matter what you're going to be wealthy, no matter what, as long as you're able to, you know, stomach the 20, 30% corrections on the way up because they're more than likely is going to be a correction coming soon. So right now it's not the best time to be entering in the markets, but it's still a great time on the macro nonetheless, because we are early. Cause when you look right here, when Dogecoin starts getting featured on like Saturday Night Live again or commercials or Elon Musk starts pushing Dogecoin and X starts integrating Dogecoin, then we're gonna see Dogecoin spike. But guys, one out of 100 in terms of search volume, absolutely ridiculous. And if we look at the peak of the last bull run, Dogecoin did an 80 billion dollar market cap. So think about this with me for a second. If we see trillions of dollars come into this industry and arguably more money 
comes in and we pass the all-time high than before, if Dogecoin can even just get back up to the all-time high of 80 billion, let alone past the all-time high, if Dogecoin goes to 100 billion dollar market cap, right now it's at a 20 billion, you know, Dogecoin could do well, it'd be like a five or 10X Shiba Inu, last bull run Shiba Inu did over a 30 billion, right now it's at 11 billion. So these are the large caps that are just gonna absorb massive amounts of portfolio capital um, company allocations of their portfolio because they just diversify across the large caps and so all of the large caps grow. So Shiba Inu is a large cap, Dogecoin's a large cap. The third project that I think is gonna outperform Shiba Inu and Dogecoin as a large cap is Bonk. And the reason why is because Bonk is under the Solana ecosystem, so the fees are very, very low. It's the number one meme coin on Solana. And the market cap of this project is only 1.5 billion. When we click on market cap, when we go to all, it's at an all-time high right now. So you might be thinking like, oh, the price is really high or the market cap's at an all-time high. You have to remember that this is the first bull run for this project. So if Shiba Inu did over a $30 billion market cap, the first bull run in Solana ecosystem projects are gonna be the hottest narratives. Meme coins have always been the hottest narratives for retail. And this is sitting at 1.5 billion. And if we have more money come in than the last bull run to pass all-time highs, I don't see why this project wouldn't just off of the the liquidity alone regardless because guys meme coins move regardless of like fundamentals because the internet is built off of memes right dogecoin started as a joke and the word irony is how dogecoin has moved and so you just have to pay attention to it a lot of them have too big of um, max supplies and all that good stuff but that also drives the psychology because why would someone that's coming to the market as a retail that's heard about bitcoin for years want to get 0 0.05 of a Bitcoin because they can't afford to spend 60, $70,000. Why wouldn't they want to get a few million of 0 0.000002? Because they think that that's important when retail doesn't even realize that price doesn't matter. See, you guys on this channel, you understand that price doesn't matter, but 99% of the world, they don't know that. They would rather have a million tokens in their wallet than 0 0.005 of a Bitcoin, making them feel poor. They wanna feel rich by having more tokens. And it's always the narrative. The narrative of meme coins is always, in terms of like marketing and how they grow, is it could go to a dollar. It could go to a dollar. I mean, looking at Dogecoin, guys, everyone was like expecting Dogecoin in terms of price to go to a dollar last bull run. And look what happened. It rallied all the way up to like 60 cents, almost 70 cents. It didn't quite make it to a dollar. Then what was everyone saying about Shiba Inu? You know, Shiba Inu is going to a dollar, which is impossible. It's never gonna go to a dollar. So something that's never achievable keeps the narrative going, which is ludicrous. I mean, it's stupid, but 99% of the market doesn't understand how tokenomics work in terms of max supply, circulating supply. When the supply is so large and the price is this low, in order for it to go to a dollar, it would have to have like, I don't know, $200 trillion market cap, which is the whole derivatives market in a meme coin. It's just not gonna happen. And so what we need to look for is the large caps that are gonna do well. So Bonk, I think Bonk is gonna do probably the best out of large caps. Pepe is gonna do very, very well too. So I think Pepe and Bonk, it's kind of like how Dogecoin and Shibu, Shiba Inu, when Shiba Inu passed Dogecoin, they were running for that top spot in terms of the meme coin space. I think Pepe and Bonk are gonna be doing that. Now Pepe is, on the Ethereum ecosystem, that's why I do think Bonk will be doing wetter, better because there's lower fees. And when Ethereum starts to go up in price, so do gas fees and people aren't gonna wanna pay, retail is not gonna wanna pay a $500 or $1,000 gas fee if they're only spending $50 to trade Ethereum for Pepe. It's just not gonna happen. So right now, this is being driven by institutional money coming into meme coins to front run this before the retail craze starts going crazy when Dogecoin becomes more popular again because when when the old retail that was a part of the bull run in 2017 at the peak of interest on Google Trends comes back, what are they gonna remember? They're gonna remember Dogecoin, they're gonna remember Shiba Inu, and then they're gonna start hearing about Pepe, and they're gonna hear about Bonk, and then they're gonna learn how to bridge to like Matic and Solana, Optimism, Arbitrum. And so the market cap of Pepe is at $1.7 billion, just a little bit above Bonk's, and if we click on the price, it just broke the all-time high, so it's in price discovery, so anything's possible in price discovery. Some other projects, just to keep on your radar, I personally don't hold these projects, I just think that they're gonna see a lot of liquidity come in, because the projects that are seeing the pumps right now, that are the mid caps and large caps, more than likely they're just gonna move together. Some of them move faster, but the liquidity is just gonna grow overall. So I heard a lot of stuff about this one called SNEK, SNEK, it's .001, 127, so it's a mid cap right now, and the all-time high was 0 0.002. You know, it's getting close to that all-time high in terms of market cap. You know, if we see like Pepe and Bonk go to like 5 billion, 10 billion, 15, 20 billion, then this project, I don't see why it couldn't go over like 
a billion, two billion, uh, three billion, if we have trillions flowing in the industry, then you see lower market cap projects like this one, you know, Toshi. I don't hold this one. It's 0 .00019, 78 million dollar market cap. So this one's rallying out of a symmetrical triangle. If it passes the all time high, goes into price discovery. You know, another one that's a little bit lower is Turbo, 0 .001, 66 million dollar market cap, 92% in circulation right here. And then another one is Jesus coin. This one's making a resurgence right now. It's only $24 million market cap. So these are just examples guys, because what we look for is we look at the charts and we see when these projects are about ready to break out. So for example, Jesus coin, it has to have, you know, it has to have a narrative behind it, right? So Dogecoin do only good every day, right? Shiba Inu, it was the most popular dog in the world at the time. And so Jesus, Everyone knows who Jesus is. So Jesus coin, I could see doing very well. Also looking at the chart, you know, we're, we're on the, on the downswing. We saw the all time high up here, you know, and then we have massive sell off. So Jesus coin has already, has already dropped 80, 90%. So it's finding a bottom right now. When this brought when this project finally finds the bottom, then in the psychology of market cycle, what we start to do is we go from anger. So everyone's looks like they're angry right now. You know, we could go lower for this project, but once we get through depression, then we go back into disbelief, then this project will start to break out again. So it's at a $24 million market cap. You know, if we click on market cap and we go to all, it was upwards of 42 million and it just started. I mean, it was in like January of 2024. And so we're in March. So it's only been a couple months, guys. So you got to remember that with Bitcoin getting ready to crack the all time high, if we break, okay, if we break the all time high for Bitcoin before the halving, that will be the first time in history that that's ever happened. And that will more than likely lead, like if we see Bitcoin just start going upwards of 80K, it'll more than likely lead to a deeper correction going into the halving. And for us to see this like parabolic blow off top and then for us to like figure out how we're gonna consolidate and uh, if we're gonna come back down below the all time high, if we're gonna hold it and then through 2024, work our way up here because this was unexpected. We printed the biggest candle in history. So what a lot of people were expecting me included, which I tell you guys, I love being wrong, you know, when I'm, when I'm bearish because I'm just holding for the long term. So I don't care if the, you know, Bitcoin goes up sideways or down right now. You know, my exit strategy is 2025 for this market, because a lot of people that are trying to like get in and get out of the markets and they're trying to time it, they don't understand that time in the markets always beats trying to time the markets, especially if you're new, if you're intermediate, and especially if you're advanced, because even the most expert traders in the world that have been trading for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, they have absolutely no idea what's gonna happen next. What we need to look for is we need to look at search volume, we need to look at mass psychology, we need to look at the market uh, market cycle, you know, to see where we're at. And right now, this is the hope stage, recovery is possible. So after hope, you know, comes, you know, belief, then opt optimism, belief, thrill, euphoria. Then on the other side, we have complacency, anxiety, denial, panic, capitulation, anger, depression. And so right now, this is the hope rally for Bitcoin. And so when that rotation, that liquidity starts to flow into altcoins, that's when we start to see the parabolic gain. So right now, guys, when we were back here in December of 2020, just retesting the complacency stage um, high right here on the dead cat bounce, well, we're not even to that yet of April of 2022 at this wick. That's like $1.3 uh, trillion. We just barely cracked $1 trillion. And so once we start getting up closer to the all time high for the altcoin market, then we're gonna see those narratives grow. So I just gave you guys the game. I gave you the blueprint. I gave you the narratives, you know, decentralized exchange tokens, gaming tokens, artificial intelligence, meme coins. It's just up to you to choose, you know, what level of risk you wanna play. Like if you wanna go full blown degen mode and have 80% into the lower market cap projects, if you lose all of your money, that's completely on you because you have to be okay with that risk. But also there is a larger upside for a lot these low cap projects. So you don't need to have every single project succeed. So if you are going to trade low cap, mid caps and micro caps with the goal of growing your portfolio, then get ready for when that rotation goes back into the large caps like Bitcoin, XRP, you know, Ethereum, Chainlink and Solana. And so if you want to see what projects we're the most bullish on before we make videos about them and you want to get access to our inner circle and our private group, then all you need to do right now is go to bullrunners.com Click the link on the page to discover our top altcoin picks and get early bird access to our crypto education platform when that's released. You just click the button, put in your best email address. You'll be instantly subscribed to our daily video newsletter where we give you the best information to help you prepare for the worst that's yet to come in this economy because we believe the spending power of the dollar is gonna keep going down in value. That's a fact. 
based on inflation, blockchain technology, distributed ledger technology, and cryptocurrencies are going up in interest. That's the truth. And together, you know where we're going. We're going camping on the beaches of the moon. So I will see you guys on the next video. I will see you on bullrunners.com. As always, you know what to do. Stay bullish. <laughs>